Okay, guys, so here we go. I'm gonna show you a little job we're doing uh, north side of Chicago up in. Uh, it's kind of an interesting neighborhood, I'll say that. It'll probably be a weirdo walking by. Anyway, uh, it's cool though. It's a real melting pot around here. Um, this client, I think he's actually a subscriber. I've been doing work on this building for years. Uh, it's all condos. Hung those lights above their entry. I'll show you. Hung all these lights, one at every door. Did that a while back, I don't know. It was maybe snowing or just about done snowing. You know, whatever. There used to be lamp poles here, and we cut them off and turned them into GFIs. Uh, these things... Uh, I don't know, they're pretty sweet. They, like, change colors and do all that. The One of the guys here kind of takes it upon himself to make this uh, make this building what it is. It's kind of fancy, but I don't know. He does cool little projects like these, and these are all these little jelly jar things. And they're all on a synchronizer, and they do different stuff. And it, and it just looks really cool here at night. Uh, but I'll show you what we're doing Years ago before I had this account they had a contractor put in these in-ground lights uh, That were high voltage and the guy just friggin buried and they got cords on them, you know And the guy buried them made splices and just poured concrete right in and set them in the concrete uh, so obviously the splices weren't bad and we had to Chip it all up. So I came up with this design um, the lights are actually going to fit in there, and then I got a heat gun on this PVC here, but anyway, so it goes the PVC into this splice box, so all the splices are long enough to get to right here, which is totally accessible and watertight, then we transition into rigid pipe, and it comes up, offsets, goes into the building, and here's what that's going to look like, it's about to thunderstorm, I think. Um, anyway, let me just move this around. Nope, not yet. Make a little kiln in there, huh? Yeah, kiln, I guess is the correct term. There we go, that's going to be beautiful. All right, so anyway, it's because I have to do a little offset. Um, I don't know if you know this, this heat gun will spaghetti that stuff I mean it turns into spaghetti you put a heat gun, gun on it for a while you just can't have it you, you'll burn it if you're too close anyway so this is what it looks like afterward here's the other side and these little plugs will come out and then the lights go in and they go through that PVC into the into this kind of PVC into the splice box transition from rigid and then that was existing so this one we just interrupted the rigid and put it in there that side we refed 100 percent so anyway they're just up lights like here's one and you know that wood will come right out and then i'm going to silicone it and drop them in there level nice and flush and good and nice and uh, that will be that. Uh, these lights are actually made that we're putting in. All the splice, uh, the cords on them, all of them go all the way back to this box right here. Hey, Marcus. Uh, I just have a smoke for a minute. Light me one up too, would you? Anyway, um, all the splices come back to right here. And these lights are pull lights. They're made to go underwater. They're not going to go bad. But if they ever do, you pull them out, pull in another one, all the splices are right there. Uh, so there's no splice at this end. But anyway, that's about what we have. Um, we had to bust all the other... I mean, we didn't. <laughs> Marcus had to bust all the uh, concrete out of there. It was a bitch, man. And we're just mixing this shit by hand, whatever. It's not worth big enough to get a uh, big enough to get a truck over here, but that's about it. And you know, I'll come back here at night and show you guys what it looks like after I get the lights on. Uh, this guy's totally into uh, lighting design, and he comes up with some pretty good ideas. 
it seems like a lot. I mean, we've been on this job for how many days? Three friggin' days already? Yeah, two guys for two days and then me all day today. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to.